Hello, this short video will walk you through how to submit an assignment to your online course at the Brant Hollow Norfolk Catholic District School Board. So what I'm, you're seeing on your screen right now is the typical setup of a course that's being delivered online. Some of them may have different colors, some of them may have different links, but typically this is the default setting. I'm going to show you where to click to get to the drop boxes that teachers typically uh, uh, provide for you. So the first place is under the announcements section. Now the announcements section is an area where a teacher puts what um, is happening in the class. It could be an announcement for an assignment coming due, or it could be some instructions or some information that's important for you to know. Typically it's posted here in the announcements area. So you'll notice here, please complete the tall tale activity. Please submit your champion assignment here. And then they click here to get to that link. So this link will take you to the assignment drop box. Also, in the calendar you can see that there is a champions assignment due on May the 8th. So when I click on this event it takes me to a place that says please submit your assignment here and when I click on this link it'll also take me to the area where I'm going to submit that online assignment. A third place um, that it will show up is under the assessments tab here. So when I click assignments it's going to give me, so I'm going to click assessments and I'm going to click assignments it's going to give me a list of all the drop boxes that um, my teacher has made available for me to submit my assignment to. And you'll notice that the champion's assignment is right here. So I already have one submission, but I'll show you another one. I'm going to uh, submit again to these champion's assignments. When I click, it takes me to the drop box. It'll show a rubric if the teacher's decided to have it, or if not, then it won't be there. When I'm here, I choose a file that I want to submit. It could be a Word document, it could be a PowerPoint, whatever you are submitting for evaluation is a file. So you're going to click add a file. Now from here you're going to click upload and then you're going to choose the file that you want to submit. So in this case I'm going to submit this file and we're going to wait for that line to go all the way across and once it's in this format, we can click the blue add button. If you try to click that button before that line goes across, you'll get an error message and your assignment will not be submitted. Once we're here, you can add a comment to talk to your teacher or ask your teacher about something in particular. And once you've done that, you can submit by clicking the blue submit button at the bottom. What happens next is a confirmation that um, your file has been successfully submitted. So it lets you know, yeah, we got it, it's good to go, I asked how big it is. And it also sends you an email to your board email address um, that, to let you know that the assignment has been submitted. And you can see there it just popped up for me here that the assignment has been submitted. So if you're concerned that you don't know if it, the teacher actually got it, these are the ways that you know. Once you've got that, you can click done and your assignment is there ready for your teacher to evaluate. So now that I've submitted my assignment, I want to find out what I got on it when my teacher has marked it. So to do that, you're going to go to your uh, assignments list and you're going to click assignments. And you'll see all of the drop boxes like we talked about earlier. But now you'll notice that the teacher has marked something. You can see because you see the view. So when I click view here, all right, it's going to give me my score right here and it's going to give me my feedback right here sometimes underneath there you see some additional files those additional files are additional um, files that would give more feedback to you just in a different format all right up top is the original document that you submitted all right so you can compare it to back and forth now i take it back one thing i forgot to show you was when you look at that original screen that had the list your mark is also listed here Okay, so if you wanted to get a quick one to take a, a quick look, that's the way to do it. Um, on top of that, that's all you really need to know to upload an assignment to your course in D2L. Hope this helped. Have a great day.